Shalom, call her law, Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shah, Waha Recha Kwadash, double honor to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of Great Millstone, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect that's doing the work of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah, in all fear, Shalom. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. I'm going to jump right into it. Galatians chapter 6 and verse 7. Be not deceived. The Most High is not mocked. For whatsoever a man soweth, that shall he also reap. And when it's concerning the so-called modern day white man, starting with their top tier elites, which are the world bankers, they have sown nothing but bloodshed. And that blood mainly that they have shed are the blood of you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on down to the so-called Mexicans, which makes up the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right. That's the blood that the so-called modern day white man mainly have shed. And the people that have mainly forgotten that bloodshed is you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on down to you so-called Mexicans. You want to befriend your enemy, which is the number one murderer, rapist, and robber of all times. Man can forget, but the Most High does not forget. Your track record has been recorded. This is the book of Ecclesiastes chapter 3 and verse 15. It says, That which have been is now, and that which is to be have already been, and the Most High requires that which is past. And that's right. The Most High requires that which is past. So your track record has been recorded, and it shall be required at your own hand. This is the book of Ezekiel chapter 35. In verse 5, it says, Because thou have had a perpetual hatred and have shed the blood of the children of Israel by the force of the sword in the time of their calamity, in the time that their iniquity had an end. And it says the children of Israel. It does not say any other bloodline upon the planet, but the children of Israel, which consist of you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Americans. All right. On down to you so-called Mexicans. The names that the so-called modern day white man has put upon you. All right. But your biblical nationality are the 12 tribes of the nation of Israel. All right. And you are the children of the most high. The same children that your arch enemy, which is the so-called modern day white man, the same man that you want to befriend and you want him to be your buddy. OK, he is the, the, the one that has shed your blood. All right. And we'll shed your blood at any moment. And the time is coming that the Most High is going to put the spirit on these Edomites. All right. To, to unleash terror upon you, Jake's. All right. Upon you, tribes. Verse six, it says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood. And that's concerning you so-called modern day white people starting with your top tier elites. The Lord power says, therefore, as I live, saith the Lord power, I will prepare thee unto blood and blood shall pursue thee. Said if thou hast not hate of blood, even blood shall pursue thee. And that's right. When the Most High sent our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shai, to bring vengeance upon the heathen, and the number one heathen is you so-called modern day white people, is going to be bloodshed. All right. Why? Because the blood that you have shed shall come upon you. All right. That's the only way the land is going to be cleansed of the bloodshed is by the blood of the one that have shed it. All right. Roughly paraphrasing the scripture. Okay. Verse seven, it says, thus will I make Mount Seir most desolate and cut off it. Salakia and cut off. From it, him that passeth out and him that returneth. And that's you so-called modern-day white people. And America is, is modern-day Mount Seir. All right? And the Most High have said that he will send his only begotten son and what? Make this place desolate. All right? And cut you off. All right? And we are living in those days that the so-called modern-day white man is going to uh, uh, reap what, he's, what he have sown. And he have sown nothing but what? Bloodshed. All right? 
the so-called modern day white man track record is being revealed by the spirit of Yahweh Bash and Yahweh Shai through the mouths of his prophets, starting with the apostles and the elders of Great Millstone. All right. They have been warning. All right. Uh, you Jakes that the so-called modern day white man is your enemy. All right. But if you look up here in this 2018, Jake really think that Esau Edom, which is the so-called modern day white man. All right. Is their friend. And that's not so. But the most high requires the past. And, and the past is the bloodshed of you Jakes. All right. This is the book of Genesis. And who was Jacob and who was Esau in the beginning? All right. Abel, or should I say righteous Abel, our forefather, all right, came back in the reincarnation as Jacob. All right. And wicked Cain, this vile uh, creature, this murderer, all right, this number one murderer, or should I say the first murderer, all right, which lets you know that you so-called modern day white people, all right, are Edomites. Okay, because Esau Edom came back in the reincarnation. All right. Or should I say Cain came back in the reincarnation as Esau Edom, Salakia. All right. Uh, Genesis 4, verse 3. And it proceed and in process, Salakia, a time it came to pass that Cain brought of the fruit of the ground of an offering unto the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shah. And this is the track record of you so-called modern day white people, starting with your forefather. All right. You was a, a, a slickster from the beginning. All right. You, you was a... Uh, uh, envious of us from the beginning all right due to your forefather and you have the same traits just like we have the same traits of our forefather righteous abel all right verse four it says and abel our forefather he also brought of the firstlings of his flock and of the fat thereof and the lord yahweh Shai, had respect unto abel and to his offering why because righteous abel our forefather feared the most high all right, the same lot that we're falling in. We fear Yahweh Wai Yahweh Shai. All right, and he brought um, according to what was uh, uh, due to him to Yahweh Wai Shim Yahweh Shai. Verse 5 it says, But unto Cain, which is that wicked, all right, and to his offering he had no respect, and Cain was very wroth, and his countenance fell. Verse 6 says, and the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shah said unto Cain, Why art thou wroth? And why is thy countenance fair? If thou doest well, thou shalt not be Salakia, thou shalt not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin life at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. All right, let's read that one more time. Genesis 4 and 7. If thou doest well, thou shalt not be accepted. And if thou doest not well, sin lies at the door, and unto thee shall be his desire, and thou shalt rule over him. All right? And that's the state that you modern day white people are in. That's the mindset that you have. All right? You're not uh, uh, ones that, that can do good. All right? That's why sin uh, lies at your door. All right, which is death, okay, and that death is coming by uh, the way of our Lord and our Savior Yahweh Shah and the rest of the Allah Hayim, accompanied by the thermonuclear missiles coming to destroy you, all right, to to bring uh, your own blood upon you, the same blood that you have been shedding for for thousands of years, all right. Verse eight it says, and Cain talked with Abel his brother, and it came to pass when they were in the field that Cain rose up against Abel, his brother, and slew him, all right? Thus bringing about the first murder, all right? The point is, Cain, all right, is the first murderer, and Cain came back in the reincarnation as Esau Edom, and you so-called modern-day white people, starting with your top-tier elites, all right, which is the chief house of the so-called modern-day white man, all right, Amalek, all right? You are the children of your forefather Cain, and you have the same traits, and you have been doing the same thing that your forefather started in the garden, all right, which is murder, all right, bloodshed, and that same blood shall come upon you, all right? Verse 9, it says, And the Lord Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah said unto Cain, Where is Abel thy brother? And he said, I know not. 
am I my brother's keeper? All right. So after this vile creature, all right, Cain, our, our forefather, righteous Abel, um, evil brother. Okay. After he have murdered his brother. All right. He shed his brother innocent blood. All right. Upon the ground, he turn around and gets more with the most high man. All right. And be, uh, 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 reckless with the most high. Okay. And, and say, am I my brother's keeper? All right. That lets you know that the so-called modern day white man is the wicked that the Bible speaks of because you are the children of Cain. All right. You are the modern day Edomites. Okay. Genesis four and verse 10. And he said, what hast thou done? The voice of thy brother's blood cry unto me from the ground. All right. And that same blood that you shed starting with your forefather Cain, that's the, that's that blood of our forefather, righteous Abel on down to the average uh, Jake in the hood, you're going to have to pay for that. All right. And we are living in the times that the most high is going to make you pay. This is the book of Amos chapter one and verse 11. It says, thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever. So all the way from um, this vile person, this murderer came murdering our righteous uh, forefather Abel on down to uh, Esau Edom. All right. And, and, and our forefather Jacob, all the way down until now, all right, in this 2018, where uh, an average Yankee or average redneck will murder uh, an average uh, uh, so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, or so-called Mexican uh, uh, from the hood, all right, that's that perpetual hate that they, ha they, ha they have for you, all right? That's that uh, um, taste of blood that Esau Edom has for you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native, Native Americans, on down to you so-called Mexicans, all right? And it's here, right in the scripture, all right? Let's look up this word perpetual. All right, and here's the word perpetual in the Strong's H5703, add. Strong's H5703. Add, add. And the definition says perpetually, forever, continuing, future, all right, ancient, all right, and, and that's what they have, okay? They have a continual hate for you, all right? They want to shed your blood. They are not your friend. They are your enemy going all the way back to the garden, all the way up until now. All right. They have an ancient and a, and, a, and a past time hate for you, Jake's. All right. A forever hate. OK. So since we got a clear understanding of that word perpetual here in Amos chapter one and verse 11, let's read it one more time. Thus saith the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, for three transgressions of Edom and for four, I will not turn away the punishment thereof and the most high is not going to turn away the punishment upon you so-called modern day white people starting with your top tier elites we are living in the times that the most high is about to bring judgment upon you for all the blood that you've shed in the past it says because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and that's what you see to this day man all right these edomites don't care anything about you so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans on down to you so-called Mexicans. Only thing they want you to do is break your back and be good slaves, modern day slaves for them. That's it. And his and his anger, all right? Matter of fact, let's, let's jump up, slack you, because he did pursue his brother with the sword and did cast off all pity and his anger did tear perpetually and he kept his wrath forever, all right? And we see it right now. All right. It is taking place right now. Race riots are, are, are getting ramped up and it's going to be an all out race riot here on the soils of America. Whether you 
so-called Negroes, Latinos, and Native Americans here are forbear. All right, on down to you so-called Mexicans. All right, the spirit is gonna be upon these Edomites. All right, to shed your blood on a on a on a, a massive uh, scale. Okay, this is the book of Obadiah, verse eight. It says, Salakia. So like verse ten. It says, For thy violence against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee. All right, and the spirit has. Has been on our our apostles and elders for years, on down to younger brothers like myself. Now here in this current 2018, to uh, pull up the skirt of, of Esau Edom's past, man. I mean, to to shed light on, on 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 the wicked dark past that Esau Edom have have had from the garden all the way up into this modern 2018, man. All right, it says for thy violence. Okay, bloodshed against thy brother Jacob, shame shall cover thee, and thou shalt be cut off forever. All right, and these uh, are, are the words of Yahweh Basham, Yahweh Shah. All right, so these words shall not shall not come back to the Most High uh, void. All right, Esau, Edom, your judgment shall fall upon your own head, man. All right, which meaning it shall fall upon uh, starting with the top tier elites. All right. Of, of 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 the wicked all right which is the so-called modern day white man okay this is um the book of proverbs chapter 29 and verse 27 it says an unjust man is an abomination to the just all right and we know who the unjust man is upon the planet all right. Once again, Esau Edom, which is the so-called modern day white man, starting with their top tier elites, which are the world bankers. All right. They are the unjust and they track record show it. All right. And we, through the spirit of Yahweh Bashem Yahweh Shah, are revealing these devils. All right. An unjust man is an abomination to the just, which is a filthy thing. All right. The unjust is a filthy thing unto us. All right. And he that is upright in the way, and we are the upright, we are the believers of Yahweh, Yahweh Shah, walking upon this great path of our Lord and our Savior, Yahweh Shah. All right, it says, and he that is upright in the way is abomination to the wicked. And we are uh, uh, an abomination to the wicked, all right, because they hate uh, 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 righteousness, man, okay? Righteousness is is a filthy thing unto them, okay? And that's the balance of Yahweh Ba'ashim Yahweh Shah all the way back uh, in the garden, um, from the garden to the reincarnation, all right, which is Cain coming back as who? Esau, Edom, and our forefather, righteous Abel, coming back as who? Jacob, okay? All the way down into you, uh, or should, should I say, into the average Edomite, which is the father, should I say, which is the children of, of Esau Edom, all the way down to your average uh, so-called Negro, Latino, or Native American, on down to the so-called Mexican, which which is um, the the Israelites. Okay, that makes up the twelve tribes of Israel. Okay, we are the 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 just man, right? And it's a separation between the so-called modern day white man and the tribes. All right, of the nation of Israel, which consists of you so-called Negroes and Latinos and Native Amer Americans. Whether you people here for a bear, all right, the so-called modern-day white man is your enemy, okay? And he shall be destroyed for the bloodshed that he has shed, which is your blood, okay? Lord willing, I pray that this may edify to the next time, Shalom.